Welcome to this new Animal Wise video where we're going to talk about the Newfoundland Dog, one of the most popular and beloved giant dog breeds in the world. The origin of the Newfoundland Dog is located on Newfoundland Island in the Canadian province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Their origin has various theories, including that they developed from the crossing of native island dogs with so-called black bear dogs brought over by Vikings around the year 1100. Later, after 1610 and the island's colonisation, new breeds of dog arrived in Newfoundland mainly by European fishermen. From this time on, new crossings resulted in the modern Newfoundland we know today. The Newfoundland is a giant dog with a powerful head and compact body. As with its closest relative, the Labrador Retriever, the Newfoundland has interdigital membranes between their toes, a useful tool to help them swim easily. Their undercoat has very dense, oily roots, something which helps them to be essentially waterproof. Their outer layer is longer and smoother, usually black, brown or black and white in colour. Approximate measurements at the withers are 71 centimetres in males and 66 centimetres in females. In weight, males usually reach 68 kilos and females 54. Despite their imposing size, the Newfoundland is an especially loving and affectionate dog, as well as being sociable and calm. They are not excessively playful, although they do love water. They usually tolerate other animals well and are patient with children, with whom they are loving and gentle. The maintenance of the Newfoundland's coat requires effort year-round and daily brushing is recommended. We should note that they can lose a lot of hair during the molting seasons. The Newfoundland is especially active, but we need to motivate them to avoid obesity. It is recommended they have three daily walks and go out on exercise sessions regularly. They are particularly fond of going to the beach or lake so they can swim in the water. It's important to note that this dog will need large amounts of food throughout their lives. Since they weigh between 54 and 68 kilos, they require around 500 grams of food per day. Let's also not forget that the Newfoundland is known to drool excessively, meaning they are not great for the house proud. We need to pay attention to their facial hygiene. They are best suited to large homes with garden access, especially if they can choose when to come and go since they do need exercise. The Newfoundland is a very intelligent dog. Although not especially suited as a working dog, they are the most popular breed to be employed as water rescue dogs. They respond well to positive reinforcement as long as the owner is aware of both their virtues and limitations. Although a perfectly sociable breed, it's still vital the Newfoundland is separated from their mother and siblings at the appropriate age and their socialisation as a puppy is carried out thoroughly. They'll need frequent company and can develop both destructive habits as well as separation anxiety if they're isolated for long periods of time. These types of behaviours are commonly seen in dogs which are left outside on their own for too long. We need to teach the Newfoundland basic training commands, allowing us to have control over the dog, especially in emergency situations, particularly important in such giant sized breeds. As with all breeds, the Newfoundland is susceptible to genetic disease such as hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, gastric torsion, pulmonary stenosis, aortic stenosis, cataracts and von Willebrand disease. To ensure the good health of our Newfoundland, we need to go to the veterinarian every six months or so and follow the vaccination schedule carefully. We also need to pay attention to their deworming, both internal and external, especially during the summer months. If you follow our advice, it is possible to enjoy a happy and healthy Newfoundland dog living between eight and 10 years, a relatively short life expectancy, which may increase in the future. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you have your own experiences of the Newfoundland dog, please share them in the comments. Like and subscribe for more videos to come, and we'll see you next time.